Okay, everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are all doing well. I kind of had to refilm this intro because I guess I accidentally deleted it, but I wanted to get on here today and show you guys how I do my thumbnails. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing it now and then how I used to do it because I know a lot of people like just a simple thumbnail or a lot of people like to use a lot of graphics, backgrounds, and I used to do that as you guys can see in like some of my previous videos, but I wanted to show you guys how to do both and what really works for me. It's not a lot and this video might be very short because I really only use just three apps and I, it's very simple. So it's not something that's going to take a lot of hassle to do. Um, but it's normally what I use on my iPhone. I'm not sure if you could find it on the Android. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can use stuff on your computer like Photoshop um, or like the Adobe like um, uh, photo thing or whatever it's called. But... I will let you guys know down below if you can find these apps on Android as well, but that is pretty much what I want to help you guys with because I know watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to start do your channel, thumbnail videos help a lot because that's what's going to draw the attention of a lot of people. But yeah, that is it. If you guys want to see that, keep on watching. Okay, so start off with your thumbnail, the pictures obviously. So in order to take a perfect thumbnail, there's like different ways you could take it. I obviously like to use this ring light, what I'm using. Um, so sometimes I like to pull it all away, which you guys can see it's really bright. But when I'm filming, I just normally just tone it down just a little bit so it's not like completely shining in my face. But when you're taking a thumbnail picture, you want it like bright, you want all that lighting. Because when creating a thumbnail, that's what's going to like catch the audience up towards the video. If you don't have a great thumbnail, you know, they're like, oh, maybe the video's not so good. And so, I mean, sometimes there's, like, some sketchy, not sketchy, but, like, not the greatest thumbnails in the video might be good. But a lot of times the videos, they um, uh, draw the attention of audience if you have a good thumbnail. And the lighting is key. If you do not have a ring light, which is totally okay, sunlight. Take a picture outside. Take a picture by your window. You, that natural sunlight that you're getting for your picture, it's going to create a very bright and um, a vibrant thumbnail. So that's step one of creating your thumbnail. You want to get a good lighting picture so it creates a good quality. Okay, so I'm going to scoot on over and pop up the screen recording. So, okay, so I already have my picture, which obviously you guys can see is just like a regular selfie. So we're going to use this as like a uh, get ready for me. So choose your picture and then you're going to go to Over. So Over is an app where you can create templates. Um, what else? Like kind of if you're doing like a blog, it helps. It has a lot of templates for you to create that or just to um, organize your pictures. So like there's layouts, um, there's, you can do videos, there's transparent, white, black. So what I like to do is I go and press white. And then you could scroll around and then you could choose the size of what you want to fit the picture. So there is, let's see, Facebook, original one, portrait, like an IG story, um, Pinterest, Twitter. There's your channel cover, so like your banner that you normally would put on your YouTube. Ignore the background noise. My mom's in the kitchen. Then you want to scroll over to thumbnail and that's what we want so we're gonna go press it and then press ok and then you're gonna scroll to the bottom and press image and so we're gonna go look for the photo scroll 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 it's like a long photo scroll 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 okay so now I have the photo and then I'm going to just size it up until like my liking. And then we're going to do it again. I'm just going to press check mark. So it just like, okay, I'm done with that photo. Go back to the same photo. And you're going to put obviously different photos, but normally sometimes I just like to keep the same photo. Unless I'm doing like multiple things, then I'll like keep it. Like if you're doing an eye look, maybe you do like your full face and then up close like to your eyes or like your lips and stuff. But if you're doing like a try on haul, you could do different like outfits. But like if I'm just doing one look, 
I'm just gonna zoom in and I just kind of want to make sure they're like even so it's not like one side or if you want to you can make one like more zoomed in or one more zoomed out but I normally like to make sure they're kind of like in the same side like that I thought I was recording the last clip but I wasn't and I was just talking the whole time okay so let me go back to show you guys okay so now we have our thumbnail ready you can do whatever you want to it um, but there's graphics here you could use but most of them cost money so I don't like using it because there's other apps that don't cost money and they have a lot more graphics to use and so all you got to do if you're done here just press the arrow button right in the corner and then press save which is it will send it to your pictures then we're gonna go to Fonto I already pulled it up because I thought it was recording but pulled it up and then I have my thumbnail right there and so now this is what I use for text so I go to text and you have all your fonts here I like to use the Helvetica bold italic um, and then like those are my just my favorite ones that I normally like to use but they have like a lot of fonts but that's just like my go-to one and so all you got to do is, okay, so let's say every day, and then let's do another text, make up a look. Okay, so now you could just adjust it however you want, so like size big, um, if you want to go small, then also they have style, which if you like the text to be different colors they have different ones and then you can obviously just change it I normally like just keep mine like either white or black depending on like what kind of thumbnail I'm doing if you like to put an outline all you got to do is go to stroke and then you can make it different colors and then at the bottom there's the width so if you like to have a big width of your font then you can choose that but I normally just leave it as is and just take it out oh no text there you go. And then the background, if you like, if you see all those YouTubers who have like a little border in the background, all you do is just press like the different color and then it'll just look like that. But again, I just normally keep mine simple so I don't put any background. No, I don't even want a background. Let's see. I'm just gonna fix it. Okay, so then now that I saved it, because that's what I normally just do now for my thumbnails. I don't really do so much to it. I just like to keep it very simple and like aesthetic. Um, but for the people who want to learn how to make it more graphic, more bright, put a lot of pictures around it, this is what I'm going to show you because there are a lot of YouTubers who like to put like the stars around their borders or like their thumbnails and have like a pink background or like an outline of their thumbnails or like outline themselves everything I want to show you guys all that because um, that's another way people like to use their thumbnails and the app to do it is called pick art and this app is kind of more of uh, like a lot of graphic design I just gotta make sure it's screen recording thing so this is what it is I'll just show you a little bit of it so obviously you can see like, the different graphics that people are using and it's like a lot of like ways that you can create a lot of content which looks kind of cool I'm not so I'm not as advanced to do all that so I don't know how to do everything but I like to just use the pictures so I go to put the plus button at the bottom and then I press my thumbnail and then okay so there's an fx which sometimes I'll use for some of my videos but some of them do cost money for it like here sketch if you want to make it kind of cool takes a little bit to load see so look at like now everything's like popped out which is kind of cool and um stickers so some of my thumbnails you could obviously see like sometimes I put like beauty products or like boho when I did like that haul or like Shein um I, sometimes I would put those stickers so you could just choose everything so let's say makeup makeup stickers and now you have all these stickers right here so let's do like uh, everyday makeup using let's say like glossier 
Okay, see, look at now I have like a glossier lipstick right here and you could just tilt it, size it down. And it just have all the stuff. And then you could do like a shadow effect with it, a border if you want to really like outline it, different colors. And it has just like all these different things. So that's if you want to choose it like there. And then also the same thing, you could do like an FX splash or something like that. I haven't really done it, but it's there if you guys are very like techy like that. And then also, let's see um glitter you want something glittery on your page some of them you do have to, like move up to premium but let's see if i want like this glitter heart and i mean obviously this doesn't really go with the thumbnail but i'm just showing you guys stuff that you could add like oh a heart and they're just like a different lot of stuff like for seasons um makeup sports all the stuff you would like to put on your thumbnail um and Normally you could just move it around, they have like lens flare, and so then you just press apply. And now what you could do is like cut out, is something that you could either cut out different things so then you could just outline it in the back. I don't really use a lot of cutouts um, on my thumbnails because I'm still like learning how to do that. But um, there is a lot of YouTube videos that show you how to do that, so just putting it out there. Um, brush border so the people who like to have borders on their thumbnail so you move down to border and sometimes I usually just put take out the outer one and I just scroll it down to zero but the inner you could just switch around of what you want so if I want this nice bigger one you choose how big you want it or thin you want it or just medium size and that's what I normally like to do and sometimes you can use that for your videos too like you put the video in there because Pixar does let you do the video and it the only thing it does have the bottom it will just say like the little name Pixar but I'm guessing if you switch up to premium it will change that but that is pretty much it of how to do like the effects of a thumbnail okay guys so that is it and how I do my thumbnails I don't know if this video is gonna be super short or if it was not very in-depth that you guys wanted but those are really the only three apps that I use and since I like to keep it very simple and like even for the graphics one that's what I really only know how to do I know there's a lot more youtubers who know how to do stuff but like with Pixart if you're looking to put stars on it you literally just look up stars on the graphic stickers and then you can just move them around but yeah that's pretty much all I know um again if you want to look at more advanced like thumbnails obviously there is going to be um, videos out there to do that but this is what I like to do this is what works for me and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me and I'm also thinking about moving my days on what days I film like maybe I think I'm gonna keep Fridays but maybe like push Tuesday on a Monday instead I'm not sure let me know what you guys would prefer but yeah, that is it. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.